Welcome to the Disruptive Age. In today's video, I'll be discussing and sharing a massive update that Elon Musk has provided. Before we begin, I'd like to welcome you to Disruptive Age, a channel where we present the latest news, rumors, and insights into all things Tesla, SpaceX, Elon Musk, and whatever else we think is intriguing. All Tesla 2021 cars, including the Model S, Model 3, Model X, Model Y, Roadster, Cybertruck, and Semi, will be covered in detail. As this is a new channel, I'd love it if you could please like and subscribe before we continue with the video. Aside from its out-of-the-box look, the Tesla Cybertruck prototype also employs what could be the most divisive component that Tesla has introduced in years, the steering yoke. Elon Musk has not stated whether the Cybertruck's production version would include a yoke, but given his recent tweets, it appears that the CEO is adamant that Tesla's new steering system will be superior when vehicles become autonomous. One thing is certain about the Cybertruck, it is nothing like other pickup trucks on the market. Even among all electric pickups like the Rivian R1T and the Ford F-150 Lightning, the Cybertruck stands distinct. Before the vehicle's presentation, Elon Musk stated that the Cybertruck would not appear out of place in a cyberpunk film set, he was very emphatically not joking. Elon Musk addressed why Tesla is using a steering yoke on vehicles like the Model S and Model X, in addition to reaffirming the Cybertruck's distinctiveness in the pickup truck category. When questioned if there are any practical reasons for Tesla's use of a steering yoke, Musk stated that a spherical steering wheel eventually conceals the screen. The CEO also stated that the whole self-driving experience with a steering yoke is significantly superior. Tesla's steering yoke on the Model S Plaid on long distance has been much debated. Even though the Model S Plaid has only been on the market for a few months, it has received rave reviews from both critics and consumers alike. However, even reviewers who were extremely positive about the vehicle have shared criticisms on the steering yoke, with many stating that it is more of a gimmick that does little to provide a superior steering experience. Musk, on the other hand, appears to be set on keeping the yoke, at least on the company's flagship cars. Whether the yoke is used on the Cybertruck remains to be seen, but Musk should be aware that many veteran truckers who have fallen in love with the all-electric pickup truck have expressed reservations about using a steering yoke on such a large vehicle. After all, the Cybertruck is designed for utility, and as such, it is likely to be used by people who are accustomed to driving their automobiles to work, so outfitting the vehicle with an unfamiliar steering mechanism could be counterproductive. When we compile the list of ostensibly in-development electric trucks, Tesla stood out as the most promising competitor simply because it was the only firm on the list with actual experience making, selling, and delivering genuine EVs. Tesla followed suit in the fall of that year. The Cybertruck, a sci-fi warning shot to the lucrative truck sector was presented. Ford employees snickered at Elon on Twitter at the time, but the joke was on them. Although the future of the industry pointed to vehicles with lower emissions and no air pollution, Ford was sticking with its gas engine and old-school design. So, even if the Cybertruck appeared to be the spawn of a DeLorean in a doorstop, Tesla appeared to be on track to beat Ford, the king of pickups, to the market with an electric truck. The Cybertruck appears to be losing its major advantage in the EV truck war, not because of range, style, or technology, but because of time. During a recent call with Tesla employees, CEO Elon Musk stated that he does not expect Cybertruck production to begin until late 2022 and does not expect volume production i.e. the regular production customers expect from consumer vehicles to begin until late 2023. This follows an initial launch schedule of late 2021. I'm happy I didn't hold my breath because these significant delays mean that Tesla will not only get its Cybertruck to consumers after Rivian, a promising startup that hopes to begin deliveries of its electric truck, the R1T, this month. It will also be outperformed by Ford, which plans to begin delivery of its electrified F-150 Lightning in the spring of next year. Tesla has had remarkable success so far in designing and delivering electric vehicles and SUVs with more than enough range for regular drivers something that both rival startups and automotive behemoths have struggled to replicate. However, with the Cybertruck, it is asking Americans to do two things, buy a vehicle that looks nothing like anything they've ever driven before and trust an electric pickup to accomplish everything their gas trucks can do. 
If the Cybertruck had been the first to hit the market, many purchasers who had no other options would have taken a chance on it. Truck purchasers may soon have Rivian, a newer, shinier Tesla, and then the electrified F-150, which is allegedly doing better than projected in terms of pre-orders. Will people continue to bet on the Cybertruck in 2023 or 2024? Musk, for his part, is attempting to put on a confident face, purportedly referring to the Cybertruck as a special project akin to a glitch in the Matrix, as if Neo had a car. The delays of both vehicles are unsurprising given the global supply constraint of parts and raw materials caused by the COVID-19 virus, which slowed vehicle production. Elon Musk, Tesla's CEO, wrote, Unfortunately, Tesla's automobile was involved in yet another fatal crash, resulting in two fatalities and three critical injuries. According to CNBC, one of the two dead individuals had a blood alcohol level that surpassed the legal driving limit, and unlike past crashes, the automobile was not in autopilot mode, according to the investigations. The U.S. federal auto safety regulators have already launched a formal safety investigation on Tesla's autopilot driverless assistance technology, noting 11 collisions with parked emergency vehicles when the system was active earlier this month. Thank you for sticking with me till the finish. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a video. I'd appreciate it if you could do this because it helps to fund the channel. On this channel, we provide the most recent news, rumors, and insights about Tesla, SpaceX, Elon Musk, and whatever else we find interesting. All Tesla 2021 cars, including the Model S, Model 3, Model X, Model Y, Roadster, Cybertruck, and Semi, will be covered in detail. If you have notifications turned on, until next time, see you later.